The media doesn't tell the true story of black Chicago. Mayor Lightfoot and a key ally claim today that the city's black neighborhoods are portrayed as more troubled and more violent than they really are. African Americans have been hit hardest by the 36% increase in killings since the mayor took office. Quoting the Bible, the mayor also appeared to label her challengers false prophets. Political editor Mike Flannery has more. <laughs> on the first day, candidates for city office could collect voter signatures on their nominating petitions. The mayor visited the 8th Ward of City Council member Michelle Harris. Acknowledging how unhappy many voters of all races are, Harris pointed to the pandemic. Let me say it again, COVID. I want to remind y'all of that when y'all sitting up there saying what didn't happen. Those complaints are familiar to Sophia King, leaving the fourth ward seat in the council to join about a half dozen other African Americans now running to unseat Lightfoot. Shakita Townsend signed to put King's name on the ballot. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. for last time? Lightfoot. But you're rethinking that now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Why? Um, just because of um, a lot of things that have it changed. Uh, the number one request I have is for more police, more police presence. So people are, are afraid. Like Sophia King, the sixth wards, Roderick Sawyer says he's leaving the council to run for mayor. He's the son of Eugene Sawyer, who became interim mayor after the death of Harold Washington. Lightfoot says Sawyer was chosen by a white racist mob. Gene Sawyer was in, uh, instituted as the mayor of the city. And then what happened just a few short years later? That same mob dropped him like a bad habit, right? And they all went all in for daily. Lightfoot appears to have decided on her key campaign talking points, and the mayor versus the media is one of them. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.